Hello, today we will be discussing on a data structure which is mostly used to find min and max, kth min, kth max in an input space. So that data structure is heap. So let's understand what is heap. Heap is a data structure where there are elements stored in a particular order. That order decides the type of heap it is. Right? And the another property which heap satisfies is that it is it is complete binary tree except from the last node last level to say that means that every node has two children in the intermediate level except from the last level like this it doesn't have two children this has zero children so this is the property which followed which is followed by heap and the second property which defines the type of heap is that the parent node is either greater or smaller than children. So this is the second property. It is to say that if this is the parent of this node and this node, it will be either greater than or smaller than both of its children. Now, if it is greater than both its children, then it is called as max heap. And if it is smaller than both its children, then it is called min heap. So let's take an example. If this is my heap, if this is my heap, then it is a max heap. If you see 9 is greater than 7 and 6, that is both its children. So this is greater. Now 10 is greater than 9 and 5. So this is maximum of 9, 5 and 10. So it is max heap. If you see closely that the root of the max heap gives us the maximum element into the space, in, into the input space. Similarly, if I reverse things, if I do this, this is min heap because if you see the root or the, uh, the parent of these two children is smaller than these and parent of these two children is smaller than this and the root of the minimum or the min heap gives us the minimum element into the input space. So these are the two properties of heap. Now let's see how heaps are represented. Heaps are usually represented using array. So if this is my array so what i do is like i this is my array there are two things which we need to uh, take care of in heap every time we figure them out uh, for every operation on heap those are like what is the parent of a child and what is the left child of a given parent and what is the right child of a given parent so in array based implementation we prefer that we implement it using the index starting at one so we discard this first array because it, it eases our calculations of left right and parent so for a given element i our parent is always equals to i divided by 2 that means if i is equals to 6 then the parent of that node will be stored at 3 and similarly if i is equals to 7 the parent will be still 3 so the elements at index 6 and 7 have the common parent called as 3. Now if we have to go to the right or the left child of the heap it is 2i. That means if my element is at index 1 its left child will be 2 multiplied by 1 equals to 2 and if parent is at 1 or oh sorry 2 then the left child will be at 4 and what about right child? Right child will be 2i plus 1. So if my pair, uh, parent is at 1, right child will be 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 that is 3. So for i equals to 2, left child is equals to 2, right child equals to 3. Similarly i equals to 2, left will be equals to 4 and right will be equals to 5. So this is how the heap is represented in an array. So let's say uh, if my this element is 3, 5, 9, 6, 7, 10 and 11. So what are the children of 3? i and 9 are children of 3. What are the children of 5? 6 and 7 are children of seven, uh, 5 and what are the children of 9? 10 and 11 are children of 9. What kind of heap is this? This is a min heap. If you draw it like this, so 5 and 9, 6 and 7. 10 and 11 it is a min heap 
so this this heap is represented in this particular representation in an array so let's see how we can insert an element in an in a heap using these properties so uh, we will be now using three functions that is int parent and will pass i it will return us to i int left will pass it i so it will sorry parent will return us i divided by 2 int left will return us return to i and int left or oh, sorry right will pass i it will return us to i plus 1 so i'll not give, go on to the implementation of these functions these are very simple and we'll like straight forwardly jump on to the implementation of insertion in a so what happens when we insert an element so if heap is null right now nothing is in heap and let's say this is my input space i am trying to insert and i want to create a min heap out of it let's say so what happens i take the first input and i write it here because heap is null nothing has to be done we'll just input it and done now we take next element and where do we put it we put it onto the first available slot onto the heap and what is that the first available slot is this we put it now what we check we check whether it satisfies the min heap property and what is the min heap property that the root should be less than its children so this satisfy min heap property so we'll not do anything great we'll take on the next element that is six and what is the next available slot this is the next available slot we will put it and we'll see whether it satisfy min heap yes so we'll not do anything now this comes this is the first available slot for four does this satisfy min heap property no because root is greater than the children so we'll swap this element and this is called shifting up operation so next stage will be three four and five and this six will be always there now we enter seven this is the available slot yes now it does it satisfy min heap property yes will not do anything now we add eight does it satisfy min heap yes now we add one does it satisfy minimum min heap property no this will be swapped with six so the next stage will be does this satisfy min heap property no so we'll again swap this three and one and similarly for two when we insert two here two will go all the way from this to this so five will become this and two will become this and then again swap with four so this will become four and it will become two so the final heap will become as so this will be the min heap being created using this input array so let's implement it using an array so this is our array so we'll take size uh, we'll start from index one so let's say i write a function insert and it gives me integer array this is an array of a and it gives me initial size that is initialized to one key so what i'll do if my size is already greater than equals to max element then i'll just return i'll not do anything but if it is less than max elements what i'll do i will put array of star size plus plus that means we'll increment the size and we'll put key there and shift up what will pass into shift up the array and the size minus one because we have already incremented it so we'll just pass the size minus i and we return from here so this is our insert operation now the important thing to look into this function is this shift up so here we will write void and it it is getting two parameters that is array and int of size as we are not modifying size element we'll just pass the pass by value now first thing what we'll do is we'll find the parent of this particular element which is inserted or we can call it not instead of size we can call it i so the parent will be as i said i by 2 or we can call the parent function also still we'll we can straightforward it divided by 2 and get the parent cool now what we'll do if a of parent 
what we are making we are making min heap so it should be less if it is greater than a of i the element which we are inserting then what we will do we will swap swap a of parent and a of i got it after that we will again use the same shift of operation for the parent a will be passed now instead of size we will pass parent it will check the parent of parent as i saw uh, we saw in the example that we were shifting two from we were swapping two with pi and again two with four before it gets onto the real uh, position of two in that example so this will again shift by parent till the time this condition is true what else condition we have to make sure that it is true that is that the parent is greater than zero that means we don't enter into a infinite loop where we don't stop so we have to take care that parent is greater than zero because our index of heap is is starting from one not an, from zero so it should be either one or two three anything greater than zero so we'll stop when parent is less than zero or equals to zero till the time we'll just move up 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 and swap the elements so this is the function to insert an element let's understand how to delete an element from a heap so what is this this is this was our min heap i guess what we draw in last chain so deletion is very simple in uh, min heap or uh, any heap is that we just delete the element from the uh, heap and we take out three and what we do we just swap this the last element of the heap onto the root and push it down till the time it gets onto the its correct position so this was not min heap actually it was now we we have taken out one and our min heap becomes pi because we have swapped the root with the last element of the heap and we have since our heap size is also decreasing so that has to be taken care of now this is not at the correct position because this doesn't satisfy the min heap property so what we'll do like we'll figure out which element from its children can up, come up in order to satisfy the min heap property so what we'll do we'll find the minimum of its left and right it is minimum of left and right we find 2 as the minimum so what we'll do is we'll swap pi with 2 again our heap will become now this is again not matching our heap property so what we'll do we'll find the minimum of left and right that is 4 and 4 will be swapped so our final heap will be so this is the deletion operation so we deleted the root of the min heap and again this is a min heap now if i want to delete this what i'll do i'll delete 2 and i'll take the last element of the heap and put it here so after that my heap will become again this is not satisfying min heap we'll take the minimum we'll swap it with this this is again not satisfying min heap property so we'll again swap this so it will be so this is again self adjusting min heap after we delete 2 now if we delete 3 we'll replace this with 7 and again the same shift down operation will be so to insert we have shift up to delete we have shift down so let's see the implementation delete it will have integer a which represents the array and integer size which is the current size of heap and we are deleting it from that heap so if star size is less than one that means there are no elements into the heap just return from it now what uh, what if there are elements what we will do is like we will just take out the element equals to a of zero that a of one actually that is the root element of the heap so that gives us temp element and what we will do like we will swap swap a of 1 with a of size that is the last element into the heap once we have done this we will just go and do shift down we will pass a and we will pass size minus 1 because now our size is 1 less and this now interesting function is shift down void shift down and it takes integer a and integer i let's say and i will be zero so we'll find out 
int what is the left element left child of this that will be 2 multiply by i uh, what is right child of this 2 multiply by i plus 1 now if left is less than or equals to i that means size also we have to find a current size of the input array also so if it is less than equals to size and if left a of left is less than a of i then our minimum is equals to left right again same condition for the right child we will do we will just swap a of min i if and will pass a now will pass the minimum as the thing and the size will be it will again call the same function and the same thing will go on repeating for shifting it down till the time we reach the one of these conditions and we fall out of we have to take care of one condition here that is if minimum is the element itself that it can't go down anymore right then we should not do any of these steps so what we'll do like we'll do if minimum is not equals to i then only we'll swap and shift down otherwise there is no point shift, uh, swapping the same element with itself and again go into the recursion with the same element it will just recurse infinitely so we will we, we'll have this condition that if minimum is different than the element itself so the minimum is different than the parent so any one of the right or left child is less than that parent then only we go and sh shift down otherwise we'll stop there so these are the two uh, two uh, operations that is insert and delete which we discussed into this lecture uh, next lecture i'll uh, explain what is heapify using these two uh, operations and then we'll uh, see how to build a heap using uh, an array of element already given and in the last we'll see what is heap sort so thank you very much thank you very